Well, Proview's done really, really well. We're very pleased with the way that it's uh, been launched in many, many countries now. We're in 10 different countries with Proview. Um, we have lots of different businesses using it, uh, from you know, obviously the US legal business through to our tax and accounting business in the US, all the businesses down in Latin America, Australia, UK, Spain. And we're starting to see now customers who, who have a preference for the content on ProView versus, versus, for example, the content on print. Um, and it's different. It's interesting to see different businesses have done different things with it and different content selections. But overall aggregate usage is very high um, and we're getting uh, a nice kind of amount of usage coming through. So we're very pleased with uh, the way ProView is going. So one of the things with ProView is this idea that uh, it's a it's kind of vertically integrated platform and we have the ability to really customize ProView to what's important to our customers rather than being on a, you know, a more of a consumer ebook platform where we're sort of betrothed to wherever that consumer ebook platform is going. And w what we love about that is the ability to customize the application and the entire ecosystem to what we hear back from customers. A great example of something we're working on right now is print and I'll freely admit that I was very skeptical about the use case for printing from an ebook. You know, why, why would you need to do that? But as we've talked to customers, particularly in the tax and accounting area, but in other areas as well, we started to hear really rational use cases for there's a table of information and I really just want to print that table of information out. And, and that's not something that really, really any ebook reader does because in the consumer space, you, it's not something you need to do. And printing from mobile devices is really hard, as you probably know. Uh, so looking at, at ways that we can do that, we're, we're pretty pleased with the solution that we're, we're working on right now and, and we hope to bring to market this year. And that's a great example of customers driving our innovation, driving where we go with the product and honestly driving us to places that we didn't think we would go. But if it's, if it's important for the customers and if it's something that we think delivers real value for customers, then we can go there and we love that about ProView. Yeah, this whole question of, you know, ProView, um, print versus research, um, you know, what, what we see for research is you're using a research tool when you're trying to um, answer a question uh, that's complex. There isn't an obvious answer that you're just going to find somewhere. Um, and so if you're, if you're preparing a brief, preparing an argument, and you're looking for analogous law, or you're looking for an answer that, or, or something that you can bring in, into, into court that's going to help you, that's where legal research tools really work well. The currency of the legal research tools, the fact that they're updated you know, on a daily basis or an hourly or minute basis, allowing you to check whether the law is still good law, all of those kind of things. The book use case is much more around, I know the answer is in this book, I just have to find the answer in this book. So court rules were a great example there. There's only a certain set of rules for the court and they're all going to be contained in a certain book. So customers use books for uh, as really an extension of the things that they, they already have in their head. It's not, it's not a, a needle in a haystack exercise, it certainly shouldn't be. It's really, how do, I, um, how do I do X with the court? And I know the answer is going to be in this book. So in that instance, um, really ProView is, is being, what we're seeing is ProView is being used alongside the book uh, or in some cases to replace that book. And for example, in the UK now, we see ProView being used in court rather than uh, Archbold, which is a rather large civil procedure guide in the UK, because it's a big book that you would have to take into court. And if the usability is there, if, if we can get the customer to the answer that they know is going to be in Archbold, it's just where is it going to be in Archbold? If we can get them to that quicker using an iPad, then customers are going to start to adopt that. And we see judges using it, we see the attorneys using it in court. So. So, I mean, ultimately, it's, it's uh, substitutive for print, but it doesn't replace an online research service. It doesn't have the same currency and it doesn't have the same scope um, of content where on research you really have the whole breadth of legal information before you. A book is a very constrained set of information.